Hey Libra, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your bi-weekly reading for September 16th through the 30th. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. If you have not seen the bi-weekly reading for the 1st through the 15th, I'll have it linked above. So you can watch that before you watch this or vice versa. Okay. Alright, jumping out already Libra. This is a little guidance from Spirit. We're going to use another deck as well. So if this message resonates with you here, Libra, um, and you would like to support me in this channel, make sure you like the video so it can be shared with others here on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload for you again going to be a lot of uploads coming up so stay tuned everyone keeps getting that unicorn card <laughs> all right and they want me to take two of these all right we'll see why let's go ahead and get your other energy out here we're going to take a look at past present and future energy for you the cards here for libra please Message do you have here for Libra 16th through 30th? Okay, very nice. Ooh. First card was nice. Was nice. Mm -hmm. Libra is someone that you need to pay attention to that is going to be doing a lot of this around town on social media to other people this is what i'm saying here we'll get into these cards in a minute but you have the cheetah coming in you also have empower yourself okay your card says get clear on your intentions stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goals so they're saying get get going right now okay if you have a plan you have an idea you are Putting things together to create something is time to move. Okay, get clear on your intentions, stay focused and move forward. Don't let anything stop you, especially people that may have something to say about what you're doing. Okay, uh, I feel like this is someone that you know as well, but we'll get into this. Your car says empower yourself. Uh, and we have the number 14 coming in. Four plus one is five. So five shows up in your reading here or showing up in your reading here because there may be some conflict or adversities that you have to deal with. And with the seven of swords at the in the middle of your reading at the um, turning point here, this is someone that you're going to have to deal with, possibly another air sign. But you have empowerment does not mean that we have power over others it means that we have power over ourselves period we honor our capacity for free will and consciousness um choice while uh honoring the same in others so they have choice you have choice you both have free will here okay but i feel like your spirit team is saying with this cheetah card okay leave the drama and the chaos or someone's opinions of you um, and them trying to block your blessings or stop your shine. Leave them, leave them in the past, okay? Put up some healthy boundaries and protect yourself. I'm definitely um, seeing that energy here, especially with the Nine of Wands. So this card asks you to evaluate your present situation and to take ownership of your right to choose who you want to deal with, right? Okay, with the recognition of the entitlement of others to do the same. I feel like someone won't leave you alone. That's what it is here. Someone won't leave you alone. There's this constant thinking about you, wanting to contact you, wanting to be all in your business here. Um, possibly because they're not happy with their current situation. So they have to not mind their own business and try to mind yours. <laughs> you have the unicorn coming in. So your intuition will guide you through um, these challenges or this adversity here that you may be faced with in the month of September. You have indulging your creative imagination and magical side through some uh, through some form of artistic expression. Whatever you have an idea to do here, they want you to put your energy and your focus, your intentions in that area here, okay? 
and they're letting you know that you have done nothing wrong because someone will definitely uh, try to make you feel like you did. Um, and I'm seeing it through your cards here. Uh, this card is saying whatever has taken place was out of your control and out of your hands. This card asks you to let go of any feelings of guilt or blame, personal blame. This was not your fault. You've done nothing wrong here. Okay. I feel like somebody's just trying to make you out to be the bad guy. Um, but yeah, you have to stand up for yourself, dear. Okay. They're telling you to walk away and you have the kitty cat, <laughs> the domestic cat coming in. So it's time to strike out of your own, strike out on your own and relinquish your over dependency on others. They're saying walk away from uh, people that you may be codependent on or were codependent on in the past or someone that this may even be a friend that was helping you and they come back to rub it in your face or to uh say you remember that time I helped you with this and that and then they start talking behind your back and then messaging you with some out-of-pocket things here I feel like this is someone you know it doesn't have to be a lover it could be but it feels like more of someone that you know this person may be younger than you or they just have a very immature um energy here okay but the card is saying okay um it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish this situation or this person walk away from the situation okay that's what your card is saying when we face a challenging or unhealthy situation it can be hard to let go and move on sometimes we stay in the hope that someone else will change or perhaps we are so fearful of the unknown that we remain in the safety of a known and yet toxic situation this card validates your entitlement to leave thumbs up to that okay so you have rattlesnake coming in you also have wolverine wolverines will rip your face off <laughs> uh so, okay they're not a little furry pets okay you guys know this already you have the rattlesnake coming in so the wolverine says you're a, a, a lot tougher than you think you are and i feel like um you know this you may have lost some of that spark some of that energy um or the thought that you actually have more control over your, this situation than you believe you have okay and your spirit team is just saying that you are a lot tougher than you think you are and sometimes i feel like at this moment here okay sometime by the end of september here you may have to show someone just how tough you are you have the rattlesnake coming in it says the experiences that you're presently going through are an and initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer interesting <laughs> interesting okay i'm gonna leave this over to the side i feel like there's an additional message in that card you also have stand your ground here this card brings a clear message whether in pragmatic action or in hurt holding firm to your own principles and to your own opinions whatever your situation do not give way this is not a time to back down i keep feeling that because it's right here in the present moment with the king of swords it's like speak up for yourself here libra okay uh <laughs> I feel like you're being called out and you're going to have to show up and stand your ground uh, against someone here. Possibly whoever this seven of swords energy is. This person may be spreading rumors or lies about you or um, just coming sideways uh, towards you where you have to really check someone and put, it, put them in their place. Okay. The card says the time is right to hold your own and stand your ground. Be like this Wolverine. Okay. <laughs> Um, and show them that you're tougher than they think you are here. Like, don't test me. I feel like that's what you're saying. So, Libra, you have the Ace of Pentacles coming in here. You have the Nine of Wands. That's why you have these cards keep telling you stand your ground here, okay? I feel like someone may have helped you when you were going through a tough time. And that's why I, I keep getting this feeling like it was some friend that may have assisted you when you were going through this difficult time here. Um, and they may have helped you get back on your feet or gave you valuable information or helped you, um, gave you a lead uh, towards some job or some opportunity that can get you back on the right track here. Um, but yeah, I feel like you kind of moved out of this energy here and you've been working on yourself. 
That's what I feel. You have in the current moment here the Hierophant card, which is the number five as well. In the current moment, I feel like you have moved out of this position of... Um, conflict and adversity here and you have more knowledge moving forward here um i was gonna call you aries you may be dealing with an aries here um but libra you have moved into a new state of mind okay you may have uh, done a lot of work put in a lot of time and learning or studying um and just getting better in your life so that you can make um valuable changes in your life here okay and i feel like someone may not like what you're doing they you know they're like oh libra think they're better than everybody else they think they got it going on here <laughs> that's what it feels like okay um and they're sitting in the middle of your reading this is someone i feel that has a hidden agenda or they have something that they want to say but it is it's loud what they're saying is very loud um it's not encouraging it's not um someone that's coming towards you with with good advice they're acting like the frenemy okay the frenemy that's what it's saying here and you're gonna have to stand up for yourself i feel like you guys may be very shocked about what this person does because you never seen them in this type of light here when the seven of swords shows up especially in at the turning point in your reading here it means that someone is being very deceptive or they're not being entirely honest with you um and this is someone that you really need to uh, pay close attention to um because they have something hidden up their sleeve here all right so i feel like that's kind of a warning here something's coming here in the future with the page of swords look how mad <laughs> this uh kid is on this card okay uh the page of swords is a younger energy okay and the tarot is a younger person or it's a person that has um that's immature in their ways here. So I feel like whoever it is, they're being very shady and spiteful towards you because you did not give in to them. Um, this person lacks in love or lacks in passion. And uh, they say things out of pocket without thinking. That's what I feel with this page of swords here. So I don't feel like it is... Um, a very good message that is coming in here some of you guys may have to i feel like you guys may be in a legal battle with someone here as well like suing someone here in the near future uh defamation of character that's the word that is coming up here okay like someone drags your name through the mud here and you're really gonna have to stand up against them and um do some critical thinking, use some critical words to stand up for yourself and um, not let somebody dim your shine and take away from you here. The King of Swords is like no joke. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. The King of Swords really will get, um, they're saying fairness reigns here, okay? Like you're, you're looking for balance. It almost makes me feel like the Justice card here. So you have the Page of Swords here, the Three of Wands and the Knight of of wands energy here that's coming in and look at that volcano that is in the back of this card if you guys can see that here um this is really your spirit team letting you know that you need to address a situation or a message that is coming in towards you uh head on and don't dismiss it here you have to get you have to take action that's why the king of wands is come coming in here like you have to speak up for yourself and um really put some plans into action to protect yourself here let's go ahead and clarify all of this and see what is going on we're going to clarify this page of swords <laughs> in the future energy i'm interested to know why this is here okay thank you spirit so new opportunity possibilities and path opening up that is your energy here okay new opportunities coming in towards you you also have apple temptation will test you so this person may test you or um i don't want to say the word threaten it almost feels like it though okay um, and there's this, this message here that you need to quickly see through any deception with this person. Um, 
so that you come out on top here, okay? Why is the Seven of Swords coming in here for my beautiful Libras? They're saying if your position was one of, in, of integrity, you will overcome the situation. But there they are. They're this little sneaky bat. <laughs> That's what is showing up here. They're saying take care. Enemies are working against you. That's what this uh, person is doing. Trying to work against you here. They're, they're a friend of me. Um, yeah. Clarify the three of wants for me okay they're saying turn your back towards this person in this situation that's why you have the three of wands that is coming up here in the future energy um they're like take uh, stand up for yourself stand your ground and don't leave any doors open for this person like totally shut the door and what i what i mean by that is disconnect from this person completely get them off your social media block them erase their number disconnect yourself okay because the three of wands sometimes make me makes me feel like you have left um a door open for this person to communicate with you and they feel like they can just come in with a page of swords and say whatever they want without thought okay or do whatever they want but they're saying the way to get your respect back um is to turn away from the situation and this person here okay don't don't give them the benefit of the doubt or give them this window of opportunity to come in and dim your shine here okay you have cracked up here okay dissatisfaction with life that's what they're feeling whoever you're dealing with they're dissatisfied with their life here okay so i feel like they're coming in to really try to mess up yours you have fair woman fair woman coming in dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde gray or white hair here this is someone that may come in and try to assist you or help you solve an issue here okay you have uh the butterfly a change for the better that's what they're telling me about the hierophant card use your wisdom your knowledge that you have gained uh over the years okay that you've been on this planet and really put it to work right now okay um and play a different role okay this is that wolverine energy play a different role play the tough role okay and show people what you're made of really that you're not going to stand for a lot of conflict and drama and uh just let them run over you here okay your card is saying you will be playing a different role in this relationship pretty soon because you have to all right what other messages do you have here for libra Okay, they're saying four leaf clover great good fortune fortune is on your side and that's why it's coming out over this ace of pentacles what's meant for you uh is for you and i feel like no one can take that away that's why the ace of pentacles showed up um to begin with here even though someone may feel like they can or they can mess up your flow they can't unless you let them here okay that's why you have the cheetah saying get clear on your intentions stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goals okay you have the bow you are highly thought of people see you as being very strong um here in september all right. That's why it's coming out with the Nine of Wands. You're showing a lot of physical strength, a lot of mental strength with the uh, King of Swords coming in. And they're saying there is an announcement coming here. Okay, so there's an important message coming or there is clarity coming. Okay, in regards to someone that you know here. Okay, um, and I feel like you're going to see this person for who they are um truly are because i feel like you felt like you could uh trust this individual or, or you knew them very well but i feel like you really don't okay they're wanting you to take a risk here take a risk follow your dreams get clear of your intentions stay focused and move forward towards your goal to achieve your goal so your spirit team wants you to take a risk on yourself 
Your card is saying step out of your comfort zone. Feeling safe and secure is a wonderful experience. But if we remain in our safe zone for fear of change, we create a limiting and restrictive environment that can ultimately lead to stagnation and the loss of our creative potential here, okay? Um, to manifest our greatest contribution in the world. Let go of fear and take a risk on yourself, okay? That is your reading, Libra. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. If this helped you in any way, if you resonated with this message, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and like the video. I'll see you guys in the next reading. I love you. Bye.